Hey all Jason at GeoffaDesigns.com here. Uh, this video is going to be going through my uh, palettes, uh, palette updates uh, sequence building plugin. Uh, what the plugin does is uh, you give it a range of playbacks. So uh, time codes, pages and executors, uh, both, uh, just sequences, whatever it is. Um, and it will dig into them uh, and pull out any presets, any effects, uh, any presets contained uh, embedded within either of those and grab only the fixtures that actually use it within the range that you've given and uh, put it at that preset or effect and store it into a queue. So the uh, queue list is organized by preset type numerically and then at the very end of the queue list is all of the effects. Uh, the queue list is also color coded so effects are all uh, magenta to match the uh, <laughs> to match the effects pool. Um, anything in blue is um, a preset that's only found embedded inside of another preset and anything in red is a preset that was found used in an effect, uh, found referenced in an effect. So as I was saying it grabs only the fixtures that actually use a particular, particular object. Um, if I cycle through here you can see that our selection uh, is changing with each queue um, grabbing only those fixtures again that actually are using that preset. Um, the, the idea is, you know, instead of having to update everything that a preset, uh, every fixture that a preset does contain information for, you're updating only what you need for the show to uh, run properly. And this can be especially helpful if you're walking into, and the, the reason that I built it was for walking into somebody else's um, programming and you don't quite know what presets to even be looking for. You might have a lot of stuff and not a whole lot of time to update. Um, so you need to find just what needs to be updated to make the show actually work correctly. Um, this obviously doesn't help with anything you're running from the programmer, but anything that's contained within those playbacks will be grabbed and put into this queue list, which gives you a single uh, consolidated place that you can use, uh, that you can have everything literally in a list um, that you can just power down and know that whatever's in that range has been taken care of. Um, again, that's also uh, on the assumption that presets have been used, which hopefully is the case. Um, da, 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 I went through... The <laughs> I forgot where I was going. All right. Um, all right, and it's just... Uh, just following up on that, I mean, you, you can do the same thing running search commands, but this, again, speeds up the process because you're not, it's, it's like reversing the search command. You're searching inside of your sequences to see what presets need to be updated versus searching each individual preset to see where it's used, uh, if that makes any sense. So that's the idea of, uh, <laughs> let me backtrack here. Uh, so we've got our queue list. Man, my brain is freaking everywhere right now. Um, all right. So we've got our queue list. Um, now, how do we actually grab these fixtures? Because you don't want to have to sit through, go into your layout, and grab each fixture that's showing up. Um, I've got a couple of uh, macros that I use with this. Um, so the first one is just select fixtures queue. So it grabs on it grabs all fixtures with information in the active queue of your selected sequence. So make sure your updates executor is selected. Um, and I mean, that's just the entire command right there. Uh, I've got the if key so that we can filter that selection. So let's say, I'm going to switch back views here. I'm going to turn on highlight mode. And oops, I think I turned off highlight mode. Uh, so I grabbed all of my fixtures that are in our guitar queue. So then I'll hit, well, let me switch to our palettes here. Uh, da, 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 da. And I'll hit if, I just want the truss wash. So now I can update just the truss wash fixtures that are focused on the guitar. Once I have those updated, I can do select fixtures again if uh, truss spots and go through the same thing. And that way I'm working with similar fixture types or in similar positions uh, using whatever groups uh, I've got built that I want to work through. Uh, my, it makes it a little bit easier than having to just have to grab them all as one singular group. So then when you're done updating all that, uh, you can go, I've got a third one here for color coding the uh, queue. It's just appearance queue, no sequence information, just appearance queue, and then your tags for red, green, and blue. Uh, and that way, so let's say I'm done with our guitar queue. I can hit this macro. Oops, I think I missed 
There we go. I knit this macro and now our guitar cue is colored green. So we know we're done with that. Um, if you're going to be using this on a daily basis, you might want to make a copy of the sequence uh, and work from the copy if you are interested in maintaining the color coding of the sequence. If not, then uh, I think appearance slash R should reset. Uh, it should be appearance Q through slash R would reset everything. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how to make use of the uh, sequence that's built uh, as you're going through and updating everything. So uh, next is kind of how to actually use it. So um, I'm going to go into, I'm just going to, I've got the plugin already loaded here. I say a lot of words sometimes. Uh, we're going to run the plugin and it prompts you for sequences. Now you don't have to use sequences, ne sequences necessarily. Um, if you just put in numbers, it's going to assume that they are sequences and process as such. Um, or if you don't put anything in, it's going to process uh, all sequences. But if you, uh, let's say we tell it time code, we'll just give it the wild card, we'll say star. So that means it's going to grab every time code. Uh, and then it prompts you if you want to add another range into that set. So I know on this show file, on page 102, I have a bunch of action buttons for uh, specials. So let's do, oops, yeah, page 102, executor, uh, star, just all executors. We'll hit that, we'll hit enter without anything, because we're done with that. Um, it prompts you for a sequence. If you've got a particular sequence uh, structure, you want to save it somewhere special, you can tell it where to put it here. Otherwise, um, just whatever number you give it, it'll either store it there or at the first available open space beyond that. So I'm just going to tell it one. Um, assign to which executor. Let's use, we're using page 106 here. Uh, and we do have to put this in um, page dot executor number format. Uh, enter, ask if you want embedded presets. Uh, if you skip this, it does save a little processing time, but the reason I put it there is in case you don't really care about seeing uh, your embedded presets, you just want to update whatever has been directly referenced in the queue. So if that's the case, you can skip this. I'm going to hit OK on it, and we're going to start our timer here. Uh, we'll see if... Uh, We'll see if running 3D in the uh, screen recording software slows it down too much. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that while it's running, it will be running in the uh, live programmer, not in blind mode or uh, blind edit mode. Um, just one of the variables I needed to make this thing happen uh, requires it to be in the live programmer, so I didn't really have a workaround for that. Um, so all that to say, if your lights flashing between presets while it's building the cues is going to be an issue. You might want to consider uh, disconnecting uh, data uh, during this, and it only will—it should only be flashing at the very end of the uh, plugins run. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to let this uh, run its course. All right. And uh, plugin's done running, so once it's finished, I'm not going to click out here yet, but it did. It definitely did slow down from the, I think it was the video screen capture. Um, it gives you a pop-up here showing you uh, just some information about what it just did. So uh, it gives you the range of what you typed in. It tells you how many sequences were processed, uh, what sequence it stored your executor to, what execute, or your, sorry, your list to um, tells you what executor that sequence was assigned to and then it gives you information about uh, what it found so direct presets was basically uh, your direct preset references uh, versus your embedded only presets which are presets that were only found embedded inside of presets that were stored to the sequence uh, presets and effects uh, Apparently there were none in this range, but if you had any, they would that number would show up here. And then uh, your effects, uh, however many effects it found. So we'll hit OK. Now, let's say you accidentally closed that early as well. Um, you can find it also in the command line feedback. Uh, right at the very end of uh, the plugins run, it will post all of that in here, as well as uh, a line for what sequences it found uh, while it was digging through the playbacks provided. Uh, these are not in any particular order. These are just however it dug them out, so uh, it's not necessarily organized, um, but it 
I don't think that part uh, is going to be a huge deal unless you're looking for a very specific sequence. Um, so, there's that. Uh, da, 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 something else I was going to talk about. Um, yeah, last thing. Um, there is one more little bit that you can uh, provide input for on this. Uh, at the very top, there's a configuration section. I'll make sure to label it before I post it. Um, which only has one field, which is uh, default value. So when it grabs the fixtures before it puts them at the preset or at the effect, um, it says at and then whatever this is. So when you get the plugin, it defaults to having 50 here instead of a preset number. I've changed it to a preset number. Um, so let me backtrack. It, I have it set to 50 so that when you grab those fixtures and highlight them, you can still see a difference. You can see them turned on before you highlight, but you can also see a difference between what you have selected and what's just in the group as you're cycling through uh, in highlight mode. Now, I've got it set up as well for if you replace that with a preset, then instead of saying at 50, in that case, it'll say at preset, in this case uh, 0.49, which is an all type preset I made for um, setting it in the background. So you can see in 3D here that, oh, I guess you couldn't see the uh, uh, variable name before, but anyways, there's the line right there. Um, you can get to that by right-clicking or edit-clicking on the plugin. Um, you can see everything I've got here is in blue, uh, which is part of this preset. The preset that I built is everything at 50 in Congo, uh, at the straight, my straight position. Um, and you can set that up for whatever you want the background to be, uh, for your fixtures. But, you don't have to be, because this is happening before it sets it at the preset, you don't have to worry about it overwriting anything. Like I said, that preset has a position in it, but since it did that before it called our position preset, then our position preset is what we actually see. Uh, same thing with color. You know, since it's in Congo, or rather, it's in Congo, but it's going to call the color next, so instead you're going to have a bunch of fixtures uh, in their straight position in this case, but at whatever color it is. So... That's the, uh, so yeah, instead of having a dimmer value there, you can swap that out for a preset. But that's pretty much uh, everything for that. That's what the plugin does, how to use what comes out of the plugin, and how to set up building the sequence. Uh, so you can find this plugin for download at my website, geofodesigns.com. Uh, link's in the description. Uh, you can contact me on Facebook and through my website uh, for questions, comments, uh, requests. Um, there's a mailing list on the website. Uh, you can subscribe here, uh, Facebook, all the social media goodness. So uh, go out, download it, have fun with it, and uh, see you around. Thanks.